was an art festival and it was held in um, the Mark Building, which is the event space for the Portland Art Museum. Um, what we set out to do was to um, celebrate creativity and aging, to show the community, to demonstrate to the community that um, remaining creative as you get older is very important to positive aging. Um, one of the values of Elders in Action is that we we believe in the vibrancy of older adults. We want to help people age in place. We promote positive aging. And through creativity, that's, um, that's one way to keep that happening. Um, we also wanted to um, provide older, older adults that sometimes can't find work but are still so full of, um, of ideas, of that they have skills and talents. Um, we wanted to um, give them a mechanism to create income for themselves. Um, and kind of a natural pairing when you think about um, um, staying creative as a way to keep you, um, to keep your well-being in good shape. Um, art is kind of a natural uh, evolution of that. So we looked for artists over age 60 and um, in conjunction with the Geezer Gallery who are our partners in this event and we found, actually there were 72 in the end. We thought we were only gonna have 50 to 60 of them, but we had 72, with the oldest being 103, um, who started painting at age 97. She was amazing. So what we set out to do was to find a group of elder artists um, to sell their work and to demonstrate to the public that they're still very alive, very worthwhile. Um, we also had entertainers, and we had um, panel discussions, and we had hands-on workshops, and everybody who participated was over 60. One of the things that we are all very aware of is that older adults are often kind of cast aside. Um, people, we live in a culture where youth is promoted. Um, and valued. Everybody wants to not have gray hair, except <laughs> s some of us don't mind. You can talk um, <laughs> yeah. um, Youth is promoted, youth is sold, and we just feel like, wait a minute, you know, we really need to bring back into our culture that um, older adults, that the elderly are people that need to be respected, valued, cherished, taken care of, um, to give them you know, as much as they've given us, if not more. Um, and so with that in mind, you know, a lot of our programs here are, um, we developed our programs to serve older adults. So when we started thinking about, well, what can we do to kind of present to the community in a different way, in a fun way, in an exciting way, um, in a way that we haven't done before and that you know the community as a whole hasn't really seen before. What can we do? And I just thought that having an art festival that would demonstrate to the public um, that they're still, that older people are doing incredible things. People would kind of look twice and think twice about them. Um, and, and you know, in doing that, it would generate a lot of um, intergenerational activities. It would, it would generate intergenerational um, conversations. They would, older people and younger people would start looking at each other in a different way. Um, and we've seen that happen time and time again since then. We had several artists who were from other countries as well that didn't speak the language very well, but their artwork was phenomenal, and through their artwork, it kind of bridged the language barrier, and um, that was really great to see too. We had about 42 people on the planning committee, and um, several people on the, the planning committee were um, broken down into advisory committees and all, but they were from so many different sectors in Portland. I mean, everything from education to medical, um, finan finance, um, legal, social, uh, just every, every, every sector in many sectors in Portland were represented on this uh, planning committee, and there was a variety of cult people from different cultures on the committee as well. 
And so we wanted all that, um, all the knowledge and all the background from those people to be put into the event and to have it um, be represented. And I think it did that really well. Art speaks, it's almost like, um, you know, music is a language of its own. People can communicate without saying a word through art. Um, and so it attracted people. The whole concept of an art festival that featured elder artists attracted so many people because it's art, um, because it was something very unique. Um, and it just attracted so much attention. Sometimes it's hard to describe why something takes on a life of its own, mm -hmm. but it just did. We had a hundred and about 130 volunteers wow. at this event. So we made sure that every artist had like two people. If they wanted two volunteers, they had two. If they just wanted one, they had one. But they were so well taken care of by the volunteers. People volunteered from, again, the ages were from, I think our youngest volunteer was about 12, mm -hmm. and our oldest was about 87. So it was all ages, they had bright yellow t-shirts so you couldn't miss them. Um, and again, it was a variety of cultures represented in that volunteer pool. People walked out of the discussion groups just like starry-eyed with um, interest, like they just learned about a whole new field that they never really knew about. Um, people saw belly dancers there that were in their 60s and 70s and went, oh my gosh, <laughs> if they can do it, so can I. And um, so I think people's, people were so radically impacted by the things that were going on at that festival and that, you know, we hoped that that would happen and we believed it would happen. But the fact that it really did was, um, I don't know that surprising is the right word, but deeply satisfying. Um, the grant that the small grants program at ONI was um, so encouraging for one thing that they believed in us that they believed in this in this event that we hadn't done before we really appreciated their funding um, they were really looking for something that would impact this the community their neighborhood and I just I just I knew that it would I knew that this was a project that would that they would want to, that they'd be interested, that they'd want to partner with us to do. And when they came through in the way that they did, I, it was just, it was um, very, very appreciated. I just felt like, yeah, we're on the same page and we couldn't have done it without them.